Ah, oh, hello! Welcome, we're back. It is Monday. Listen, we were slated to play Wanted Dead today, uh, but I was installing it and it was taking a really long time and I was like, ugh, we're gonna have to delay the stream to let this install. And then I looked into my heart and I said, you know what, I, I don't really, I don't want to play Wanted Dead tonight. We'll play it, but I, I just feel like we have unfinished business with Bugdom, so we're, we're, we're playing Bugdom. Uh, that's basically the long and short of it. I, I think that we can beat this game. Oh right, I forgot about this already. And already I'm annoyed by this game. Good. Uh, I just think that we can beat this. Let's try to do it. We're in the beehive. I, I think we can do it. I think we can do it today. Oh my god, it's a six! Okay, so some of this we've already done. Right, there's the dynamite. Let's just re-familiarize ourselves with the controls real quick. Got it. That's pretty much it. Jump and kick, right? Ugh. Ugh. Oh. It is pretty funny that they just turn on their side. Um, okay. Leave me be! Oh, okay. I remember now. And they die when they sting, of course. Just like a real bee. Giant Spatulum says, Whoa, Bugdom Switcher! I just wanted to play Bugdom. I, I just... I feel like... <sighs> I feel like we made a lot of progress in this game last time, and we could probably beat it. I still want to play Wanted Dead, but right now, what I want to play is Bugdom. Just gotta find this plunger here. Giant Spatulum! Did I say Giant Spatulum? <laughs> Giant Spatulum, welcome. You did! I'm sorry. I'm just trying to save time. Is that so wrong? Anyway, I'm just gonna run past all these bees. You know, run past all these enemies. How does that save time? Because you say, instead of giant spatula welcome, you just combine it all together into giant spatulum. That totally saves time. <laughs> How does that save time? <laughs> no, the honey! How far back am I going for that? Oh, all the way. Got it. Okay. The honey is no. How does that save time? Come on! Are you gonna become a Bugdom speedrunner? I don't think so. This game is like Nanosaur is annoying, but it takes ten minutes to beat. This game is annoying and feels like it would take, you know, much longer than that to get through. I I just I couldn't. Oh wait, we gotta go this way first, right? Hello you drones. But they're not drones, I guess. They're like little larva. You can speedrun your welcomes and outros. That's true. I'll just do it in all one big long slurred word. Already working on it with Spatulum. What can I say? Just Spatulum. To the Strembe. No. Aha! I am invincible at a totally useless time to be invincible. Fantastic! I think this is a raspberry. Leave me alone! I was wrong! Oh, I can stand on his head? That's kind of fun. Easy. Oh look, I'm just a little bug. 
Fantastic. Okay, we discovered the red ones definitely fall out from under you. I remember this from last time. The camel! He's slippery. He's a slippery boy. Quick save. Noise. Please! Alright, well we tanked the bees. So that's, I guess, good. I like that the plunger is a matchstick. That's fun. Oh nice, we got another, another good bee. I wonder what was the other direction that we didn't go. Yeah, whatever. This seems to be the way forward. And Wisebird says, hmm, is this a VOD? No, I just wanted to play more Bugdom. I know we were going to play Wanted Dead. It was taking too long to install, and while I was waiting, I was like, actually, really what I want to do is play Bugdom. <laughs> My little missile bee didn't even work. Welcome, Unwise Bird. I mean, Unwise Berm. To the channel. Going good. Here. Uh. Oh, the timing. High skill ceiling in Bugdom. Gotta have that timing just right. This music is good B music? Honestly agreed. The strings are, are fantastic. Should we see if the missile will actually hit him? No luck. Wait. Where is this thing? To the this side, perhaps? Looks like we haven't been here yet. Ah, fantastic. Hup. Oh, I can squish him. Get squished! I guess that sort of makes sense. I mean, I'm also a bug, but, you know, it's, it's fine. All right. Oh my gosh, how did I not know this before? That's so satisfying. Here we go, don't land in the honey. It's the opposite, it's fine. Oh, cool. Okay, these are already down. Great. Just gotta be a little more careful around the honey. Ignore them! Don't worry about the long corridor with nothing in it. That's just level design. If you don't understand it, it's just because you don't understand good level design. Move this mic a little closer. All right, I'm ready. Don't mess this up. Oh yeah, the timing was like weird here, right? I kind of remember this now. Huh. This has big like PS1 vibes. Hey, Pierogi Frenzy, welcome! Says, oh damn it, not this again. Oh yeah, I just, I feel like we can beat this game! Speedrun for this game is seven minutes? I don't know how you do that. 
Welcome back, Pierogi Frenzy. It is more of this, alas. Must be some out of bounds stuff. Yeah, some kind of hacks happening. Please. Seven minutes in heaven. Hmm. Maybe. Okay, let's get. Look, every other one is gonna line up. No! Maybe we should have played Wanted Dead. <laughs> Seven minutes in heaven, but there's a bug there. You know what? That's fine. That's okay. How far back are we going? I think to the beginning of that level. Oh no. Okay, we can do this. Ready? Look. Speed run time. We know how to do this. We get the mushroom, which we don't know what it does. I guess it healed me? Dodge the demons. Leave me alone! I was looking at the, um... So, th all of these games are available, the source code, on GitHub. And I was looking at the Nanosaur code to see if we could, like, mod it. And I think the answer is no. We need some special program to, to change how the map is. And maybe we could do weird things with, like, the enemy AI or something. But it wouldn't really be... What is it written in? I think a lot of it was written in C, weirdly. If I remember correctly. But that might be part of, like, porting it. Maybe it wasn't originally written in C. Progy Frenzy says, that's not weird at all. Oh, okay. JK, then. I don't know if that was sarcastic or not. It's written in B++, indeed. Okay, did we want to find out what's over here? I'm just sort of curious, because maybe it's like an extra life. Extra life? Hey! I could be a level designer. I don't really know what the blue clovers do, but we got them. We sure have two of them. Froggy Frenzy says, would have been C or C++, and C++ used to, uh, just used the C compiler until the mid-90s anyway. Okay, well there you go. Checks out. Written in C in a way that makes sense. Help. Get him! I don't think he got them. God, these bees in the foreground. All right, we're gonna we're gonna debate him. Come here. Come here. Uh. Just gotta get the timing right, please. No. Oh. Is there any way to actually get these guys? I guess I can just tank the bees. Fine. I'm gonna die by falling in honey anyway. I already know this. Another useless missile, good. Killing me. Oh wait, the far uh, right was the way to go, right? Where both plungers are. Although I think there might be an extra life in here. Want a raspberry anyway. Get the big heels, good. Was there an extra life in one of these? Come on. 
Oh, I should have done that years ago. That was the way to do it. Just roll at him. I keep forgetting that that's a game mechanic, TBH. All right, here we go. Oh, I forgot. It's a little a little mite in the hive. Squish all the mans. Mario style. All right, here we go. Here's approximately where we were. It seems like we've gotten away from the buzzing sound effect, which I consider to be a boon. Good. Okay, so then it's gonna be like every other, right? So maybe if we jump on this one. God, that was close. Okay. I was sweating. How many light snacks to 100% bugged him? A million billion. Not, there's no, there's no amount. I cannot be tempted into this. How far are we going? Oh man. I do kind of like this game though. I mean, again, like we, we, we say a lot. It's just this you know, genre of being a little guy running around in 3D. It's very appealing to me. How many American dollars to 100% bug snacks? 40 American dollars. <laughs> Unfortunately, that is my going rate. Okay, so I can't roll at these guys. Ah, such nuanced mechanics. What else we got here? One of these is going to have a, a mite in it. I just know it. Giant Spatula says 40 American dollars? That's like less than minimum wage, probably. <sighs> yeah, probably. But that's that's where we are. This channel's making less than minimum wage anyway. Shoot your butts at me. Do it. Oh, no! I thought I was butt immune. Come on, it's supposed to be a guided missile. He was standing right there. Oh, it's fine. It's useless. That's okay. Now we know. Okay, that's kind of a lot of goddamn bees. Am I wrong? Look, we just got to sneak into the... Just blend in. Just me, another bee, walking in the bee line. Mmm, yes. I love to forage. Mm-hmm. My loyalty truly is to the colony. Unwisebird said, whoa, it's working. Oh yeah, master of disguise. Here we go. This is no way this is gonna get out of hand. Oh, it's out of hand. And away we go. Fine, it's going good. Progi Frenzy says worker bees cannot be knocked down. Instead, it just pisses them off. Insights from the source. Oh my god. We're, we're reading the matrix now. Oh, that's not what I wanted. The matrix remake, but the matrix is bugged them. And they're like, we created the. We tried to create the perfect society, but humans are defined by suffering, so instead we made you guys live in bugdom. Hit him! Giant Spatula says, I was going to go with... There's a bug in the matrix! Oh my god, that's so much better. Ugh. 
Come here. Remember those weird little bugs that climbed through Keanu Reeves' belly button in the Matrix? What was the deal with those? If he's in a computer program anyway, why did they need weird little bugs? To go into his belly button. Unwise says, I didn't like those. Those were gross, yeah. It's bug. He's he's bugged. Froggy Friend says the code spits in the face of the law of Demeter. <laughs> oh, I'm out of I'm out of spin dash. I forgot that that was a limited resource. Okay. Free them! Free my harem of ladybugs! <laughs> Perfect. Going good. Wait, what door was locked? <laughs> Does anybody remember? Probably over here. It was back where you were. Right, here we go. Okay. I don't like- Oh, you piece! I mean, I definitely didn't like that, but I- Oh! Twice! Why? One of these has to be good, right? They wouldn't all be trolls. There's just no way. No! Oh! This last one's gonna be great. I can feel it. No! Progi Frenzy says each enemy does its own pathfinding, checking if the player is targeting them, etc. I don't know, maybe that's normal in games? Seems a bit weird. Feels like could be made more efficient. Hey, Larry Burndorf, welcome! Uh, has redeemed today's featured hero clicks. Just give me a moment. When we let's check these nuts. Hashtag these these nuts. And then we'll go. Was it a hashtag? I don't think I did that right. <laughs> welcome, Larry. Um, one of these is a fake. I already know it. It's going to be the opposite of what I had hoped before. Hashtag these nuts. <laughs> Fantastic. Progy Frenzy says, no, you did it great. Ah, oh, good. I'm glad to hear. I thought so. Hashtag these nuts. I thought I was pretty sure I did that right. I just wanted to seem humble. Oh, look, we got all the blue things. Is that good? Oh, I can't squeeze through the crevice. All right, I guess these guys will just follow me for the rest of my life. That's fine. All right, let's get to here, and then we will, bam, pause that thing to take a look at today's featured hero clicks. Thank you, Larry Berndorf, for the light snacks. Uh, today's featured hero clicks, as featured in the hit animated movie Superman Doomsday, is Doomsday. Uh, this is the weird monkey alien that kills Superman, kind of. Um, when I they they made a cartoon version of the comic, uh, The Death of Superman. Uh, called Superman Doomsday, and when I was a wee lad, I saw, I think it was the premiere of it, although it may have just been a screening of it, at the San Diego Comic Con, uh, featuring the guy who played Jane in Firefly as the voice of Superman, I think? I could be wrong. Huge citation needed. I think it's Adam Baldwin. Larry Burner says, I have the whole Death of Superman comic collection somewhere. It's a fun storyline. It's good. He comes back with long hair. We like it. Um, Doomsday, though, to me, is a mini. He's somehow underwhelming. Although, yes, he is caked. I, I didn't... I forgot what you meant when you said he's caked up. But now that I have it rotated this way, I, I do see what you mean. Uh, let's compare him to our standard size Karen, just so we can get a sense of scale. You can see he's, like, not that big. Like, even if we put him up you know, on a higher base or whatever to try to match Karen. He's he's not that big of a guy. He's just like a big monkey man. Larry Burndorf says he came back as like four different Superman at the same time, if I remember correctly. Oh, maybe? I remember he comes back. There's like the fake clone Superman in that... that I th I've only seen the movie version, though, so it may differ. But there's like the fake 
clone Superman that Lex Luthor makes, and then there's the real Superman that is grows a mullet. Uh, those are the two archetypes uh, in classic kind of mythology. Anyway, as you can see, uh, he's not that tall. He's a little bit taller than Karen. We could give him kind of the benefit of the doubt, put him up there. Everybody be cloning Superman. You got to. Um, crucially, that movie features, just in case we didn't know Lex Luthor was a bad guy, in that movie, his scientists are like, we have a cure for cancer. And he's like, no, we can't put out the cure for cancer. We need to put out... A, a preventative that you have to take so that we can sell more of it instead of just the cure. Larry Burnham says, I've never seen the movie. It's honestly not really worth seeing. An unwise princess plot of FF7. Although as a, as a teen, it was fun to see in theater, or not in theaters, at the uh, exhibit hall on the big screen. But where's that Spider-Man panel? That Spider-Man panel? Where's that Spider-Man panel? We have the Spider-Man. Oh, no, I have a different Spider-Man. Wait. I don't know where my other Spider-Man is. I have a good Spider-Man, but it's not here right now. Oh, Giant Spatula has it. Perfect. You can rewrite DNA on the fly, and you're using it to turn people into dinosaurs? But with tech like that, you could cure cancer. But I don't want to cure cancer. I want to turn people into dinosaurs. Wait, let me show this. Sorry, I should have. we should have been looking at this this whole time. Uh, bam! I don't want to cure cancer. I want to turn people into dinosaurs. I do really like that. That is basically what it was. Um, anyway, I'm not showing it to you. Oh, I'm so bad at streaming. Here it is. No bam. Here's the bam. Sorry, I pressed the wrong button. Uh, let's try that again. Ready? Bam. Uh, there's the the thing. Here's the man. He wants to turn people into dinosaurs. We'll work on it. We're getting better. I only just started streaming, so I'm still kind of feeling it out. I'm sure I'll get better in no time at all. <laughs> ah. Pierogi Friend says, Lamau, I don't think I've seen that before. Hey, Museput, welcome, says, I just looked up Adam Baldwin, and yes, he did voice Superman in that. He also apparently is one of the originators of the Gamergate hashtag. Oh my god, that's the second worst hashtag we've had on the stream. Hashtag cured dinosaur cancer. Okay, it's the third, it's the third worst hashtag now. Hashtag cured dinosaur cancer. And Giant Spatula says, it's true, he is? What a weird guy. Ugh, oh, don't do that. Adam Baldwin. That's so weird. Muse put. Welcome, by the way. I hope you're doing well. Um, we're playing Bugdom against everybody's wishes except for mine. Just after hashtag D's nuts. Listen, it goes hashtag cured dinosaur cancer. Hashtag D's nuts. Hashtag Gamergate. <laughs> on my tier list of hashtags that have appeared in the chat on this stream. That's that's the only that's the context that must be included. Uh, in order to make that coherent. Anyway, uh, Doomsday, he's a big boy. He's 137 points, which makes him over six Karens. Over six and a half Karens, if you'll believe it. Um, so that's a, that's a pretty big old boy there. Uh, and crucially, in addition to being 133 points, uh, Doomsday is today's featured hero clicks. So now you know. Now you know. Listen, not the least bumpy today's featured hero clicks we've ever had uh but uh we got through it Museput says i spent so many hours on bugged him on the old imac color as a kid oh yeah man we've been playing all of these um pangea software games uh the last week or so and we have the uh third place speed run of nanosaur on easy mode crucially um giant spatch says what imac color perhaps is the what What's the Pangea Soft tier list? Oh my god. Okay, so. Nanosaur. Oh, we'll do it at the end. We'll do it at the end. Is there a hard mode? There is a hard mode. There's an extreme mode, I think. Easy and extreme. But yeah. Uh, I don't know what the difference is. I have not attempted it. Larry Burner says hashtag chemtrails. I'm trying to get to one. Oh, chemtrails is a good hashtag. I need to use that more on Instagram. Just to generate interest. Just to just to get eyeballs of interesting people on my Instagram page. Did you get the checkpoint? I think that I did. But now that you say it, I'm not sure. Why can I go here? I guess just in case I get nervous. Oh, maybe because I might not time it right to get the moving honeycombs. Does this ever come back? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're good, we're good, we're good. <laughs> 
slightly worried for a second there that that was just going to be trolling me. But we're good. I just really want to see the end of this game. I want to see what the hell happens in Bugdom. Oh my god. We're going to die here. Oh, sick! I'm immune, you bastards. We have the useless bee missile. He's like a little sweat bee or something. He's just a small boy. Just a lad. All right. Oh, it actually hit something. That may be a first. Oh, wait, that's the way out. Go, go, go. No. Oh, I got greedy. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> Unwise Princess's music does not help my anxiety. That was literally the end of the level. Oh. It's fine. We don't have to re-detonate the thing. We just got to walk out. And we got all of the, the blue clovers, although who the who knows where the gold clovers are? Musepoot says Souls game before Souls games. I was honestly saying that too, because we were like running past all the enemies earlier. Feels very Souls-like. Huh! We don't need to go over there, I hope. The one thing that would really F this up is if I landed in the honey. Because that's a one-hit kill. Like, we would just be done. Oh, you piece. Fine. Get me out of here. Oh, wait! There's a gold one! They're real! Alright, I'm out of here. Oh. I kind of like it. I kind of like this game. I hate it equally, just like with Nanosaur, but I do kind of like it. I cannot lie. That's it? I thought I would get like a man or something for all- no? For all four? No? No? Okay. Giant Spatula says I don't believe you! Level? Seven! There has to be a bit. It can't just be- nope, no bit this time. Larry Berndorf says it's hard collecting hashtag these nuts. It's true. Okay, go take them on. Oh, wait. It's the queen. Oh, my God. It's the queen. It's actually a boss fight, kind of. Okay, don't stand in that, I guess. Roll it. Roll at her. Unwisebird says I'm nervous that you don't have lives. <laughs> Fine, we'll get some lives. They gotta be here somewhere. I really shouldn't waste that, actually, because we do sort of need it to be able to actually, like, hit the queen. Okay, here we go. Take me back to her. I'm While well, I'm invincible. Where is she? Oh, it wore off. Oh, boy. Look at all this royal jelly. Progi Friendly says, my guy.c is the source for the player character. <laughs> well, let's try that one again. I believe. Let me just pull this over here. <gasps> it would be cool if it was a little faster. Okay. Show her to me. I got the full mushroom. I think if we just take her out fast, we might be okay. Just remember, we can't roll into these guys. We gotta squash them. What do we got here? Oh, fantastic. Come here. Come on down. Come on down! The thrills! There is a lot of royal jelly around. Go, go, quick, go, quick! Am I supposed to do something about it? Oh, I got poked! Okay, we gotta learn. Can a beast even sting something with an exoskeleton? They must be able to. 
Because they probably fight other bugs mainly, right? Okay, we got to get out of here, unfortunately. Let me see if I can save my life. We'll see you later, B. I'll be back. Health? You know what it's going to be? It's going to be one of those little mites, and it's just going to kill me. Or that. No! I do like... Sorry, Pierogi Frenzy, going back to what you said. I like that myguy.c is the player. That That's some real guy brush, or guy.brush energy. Oh wait, I need the mushroom. Please! Larry Burner says, IDK like to fight me. They like to fight me and I'm not a bug, I think. Ah, you think? So you admit you don't know. Mmm, curious. Come over here, you big old bee. Stop! Oh no, I got the health. I didn't need that yet. So it's just in those dark areas I get stung. I guess it's supposed to be like there's a bunch of little worker bees hiding in there, ready to poke me. So much royal jelly! Yeah, give me the give me the immunity. Okay, we got a couple good hits in there. Let's see if we can get some more health, or at least locate some. Oh wait, no, 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 this is it. We gotta just, we gotta just roll in. Come on down! This is, uh, not climactic. I'm gonna be real with you. Oh, there's health! We just gotta get to it. Where is she? Brogy Frenzy says the player roll code is a big switch statement to call to each enemy type's roll code hit detection function. Bad abstraction. That's why this game is hard. Oh my god. You telling me this is not the most perfectly programmed game? I don't believe it. It's a beautiful work of art. And genius. And some other good things that you could be a work of too. We gotta just- Oh, I'm out of rolling! Oh god, this is an emergency. Okay, we gotta go find another mushroom. I'll be back. Get me out of here. Hup. Oh, we're so close, too. Mushroom? Yeah! Okay, we're going back. Uh, let's just go this way. Nice. Oh, we got this now. Please? Come on. Uh, that had to be it. One more? One more. That's gotta be it. Oh, a bee genius. A bee genius. Oh, I don't like that there are explosives entering this game now. I... Ooh, I don't know how I feel about that. Okay. The music's good. I don't like how much rolling 
power I'm getting. I'm concerned that means I'm supposed to be rolling all through here. Working on a night bug. Okay, so those are fire ants. Giant Spatch says, oh, this music in this level is chill. I gotta put this on my iPad for when I'm, you know, working or whatever. My iPad? My iPod. Chill bugged and beats to study to. I'm gonna put this on my little iPod shuffle and clip it to my belt loop. R remember? Remember how we used to do? Good times. Bring back the iPod shuffle. If it was very cheap, I would consider buying one. Now, I think we're going back the way we came here, but I'm just trying to feel this place out a little bit. A lot of long bugs. Okay, here's a bunch of rocks. That should be easy to remember. Get me out of there. I can't even take one hit. Oh my god. Ah, there we go. That's what we needed. That's for you. There is dynamite here. Okay, it has exploded. That man's dead. Oh my god. We detonated him. Aha! The green key! Did you forget that there were keys in this game? Because I did. Get that checkpoint. Obviously, the straw with a little bit of water coming out of it is a checkpoint. That is a classic convention of video games. Oh! I guess, Pierogi Frenzy, I'm just thinking about your, your review of the code. I guess the moral of the story is you don't need to be a good programmer to make a computer game. Like, that's... That's maybe not the most important thing, which I think is sort of interesting. You just gotta be the only people making a game for Mac. Okay, I don't know if there's enough fucking dudes here. And Giant Spatula says, I mean the guy who made this game now owns a rock store. True. So I don't think he kept up with the programming hobby. Where, where am I? Where am I trying to do here? Kill that man. You know what? Murder that man. Please. I'm very concerned about skipping past some health or something, but oh no! What is this? Ah, there we go. Is this good? This doesn't seem good. Unhand me! This is perhaps a fate worse than death. Please! The lens flare is ridiculous. Okay, um, I hated that. The lens flare is a bit egregious. I somehow was not noticing it, but now that you've said it, you are absolutely correct. Aha! JJ Abrams is a Bugdom fan. Confirmed. I don't know if that I don't know if I get that reference, but please! There has to be something I can do when this happens. Am I just not supposed to go over there? Musefoot says I was literally just walking to my computer to make the same joke. Oh here we go, here we go. We're, okay, we're immune now. Oh no, I hope nobody blows up all these bombs. That'd be terrible. Oh, you guys don't know how to do it. What a waste. I was immune. 
<laughs> Unwiseman says, Froggy Frenzy reviewed the lens flare code. It's... It's mathematically perfect! It's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen! I hope there's enough ants in this level. Okay, here's the fire boys. They are, uh, in force. Okay, here we go, here we go. Blow up the bombs. Was... was that good for me? J.J. Abrams. Ah, that is what we needed. Alright, so I guess we're going to try to roll past those little fireflies this time. Hashtag define num flare types four. That's right. Oh, yeah. Four flare types. That is fun. That actually is kind of fun that we have the source code. This seems safe for me to be doing here. There's no, there's nothing over here. Are they telling me I'm not supposed to be here? There's so many of them. I just feel like there's no way I'm supposed to be able to contend with this. And if there's like one secret hole that I'm supposed to go down while I'm not allowed to pan the camera down, I will be furious. Stop, leave me alone. This is super not what I wanted. Four types of lens flare. Oh my God. Only four? This is called Moon Flare. I thought this was a good game. We're gonna go towards the moon this time. No, where, where am I going? Is it here? I don't like this. It's here, right? It's this way? You are useless! Little homing beetle. Oh, no! There's a checkpoint! That's all that matters. Good. Now I can get killed by rocks. I mean, I'd prefer not, but, you know, whatever. Aha! Oh my! There's big boys. Stink bugs, I guess. I like the kind of game design decision to just be like, just put like a... Just put a thousand bugs down. Where should we place the enemies? Just everywhere. Just put just put them down. It doesn't matter. We'll just put in like half a dozen. No, not even a half dozen. We'll put in a dozen. Hello, my friend. You I do like, you big caterpillar. Even though you're a big spiny bastard, I find myself oddly drawn to you. Now see, this I don't like. Giant Spatula says, I like anything that starts with cat. What about a cat's up? Is that real? You remember from The Simpsons when he's looking at the ketchup and the cat's up? What the hell is cat's up? Did you ever see that in your life? Also, something is glitching here. Catastrophe. You should have gone with catastrophe. Jinx. Uh, so something's, I dare I say, bugged. Um, Cause I'm just getting pushed, slammed back periodically here. How am I supposed to get through here without immunity? If do moon and I equals equals one, see if do moon. See if do moon. Okay, just go. Real line of code. I do like the comment, see if do moon. Giant Spatula says, Brogy <laughs> Frenzy, can you find the bug? Can we submit a pull request to uh, Bugdom? Whatever the bug was, it seems to be over now. So that's that's good. Unwise person says it's written worse. Or I've written worse. Ah, oh, same. 
Have you seen the inventory code for Sweetway Snooping and Tailing Co? My god. Okay, I need a key. Which unfortunately means we kind of have to check all of these things. Is that the key? Oh boy. This is a bit of a nightmare. Leave me alone! Okay, well, whatever. Stinky boys, leave me be. Stop. Don't carry me somewhere stupid. Is that the key? No! Oh, this is the worst! How far are we going? Just throw me in the lake! Just throw me in the goo! Giant Spatcher says, this guy did not believe in invincibility frames. Look how far back we're going! Oh my god! That was ridiculous! Well, at least there's a, a heal here. That I guess we missed before? Maybe we came a different way? Progy Frenzy says, Lens Flare Code is fine, TBH, but it only do moon if moon texture is loaded, which some, which seems... Oh, only do moon if moon texture is loaded, which seems kind of backward. I gotcha. Yeah, you, you'd think it'd be load moon texture if moon, but whatever, it's fine. Always be loading moon texture. Honestly, always be loading moon texture. Look out for the sausages. Key? Yes! Alright, I'll save you, but only because it's on the way. Get me out of here. Oh! Not that it matters, I don't have any lives, but... No. So I'm kind of like, there's so many of those guys. Are they supposed to be telling me where to not go? Nice, we got some health. I guess that's, I guess that's the point of them. I guess they're basically invisible walls, but visible and not walls. You know what I'm trying to say. I'm not so sure, actually, because there's, like, stuff down there. Sentient bollards. Exactly. Thank you, Musefoot. That's what I'm trying to say. Leave me alone. I don't care about you. Anybody see the door? Progy Frenzy says the levels are all resource files for Quick Draw 3D, which seems like an Apple alternative to OpenGL. Oh, I remember that um, Nanosaur said it was all developed in Quick Draw 3D. So that definitely checks out. Like said proudly on the title screen that that was the case. God, how long is this level? Well, we got the red key, so that's probably good. A lot of rolling power. Maybe I gotta learn op uh, Quick Draw 3D. Maybe that's a, a good next project for me. Since I don't really have enough projects ongoing right now. <laughs> Just add that to the pile. Develop a Mac OS 9 game with Quick Draw 3D. Perfect. It's weird. I, I keep feeling like I'm going totally the wrong direction, but there's like stuff everywhere we're going, so that seems good. Well, okay, no, we did go in a circle. 
Just as I said that. Good resume builder. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Tons of people hiring for Quick Draw 3D right now. Hashtag 10 things to put on your resume to get hired by a big company. Quick Draw 3D. Giant Spatula says the Wikipedia entry for Quick Draw 3D is written in past tense. <laughs> Which isn't a good sign. Seems concerning. I'll agree. Vis-a-vis -vis its viability as a uh, development platform. I'm going to change my LinkedIn to that. It's just going to be Piotr Bizzle, Quick Draw 3D developer. See if I get any, any uh, recruiters hitting me up. Please do. <laughs> Report back results. Nah, see, I think this I think we've gotten a full circle here. So why why is this area? Do we need to go to the inside of this donut? Because I'm I'm checking the outside of the donut right now, but I'm starting to be concerned that I should have been hugging the inside this whole time. Aha! Could you imagine if we missed the key before? Though, I would not know to go back and look for it. Like, that red key was... was Oh, there's the exit! Oh! I'll take it. Grats! Thank you. Only 15 more levels. No, I can't remember. What are there, 14? 10? 12? Something like that. There's there's more levels maybe than there need to be. Two more levels? Ten levels. Okay. That's not bad. Ten is ten is fine. I can do ten levels of this. Oh, it's all spooky and cool now. God, this soundtrack is such a banger. Like, oh, oh all of this is so good. Also, there's a Peglin update. I almost played Peglin when I saw there was a Peglin update. Giant Spatch says, apparently the big bad is named King Thorax. That's just a good name. Oh, is that putting water on stuff? Aha! Everything looks different. In Peglin? Uh-oh. That's a potential cause for concern. I really liked the way Peglin looked before. This place is spooky as hell. Uh, okay, here's my plan. Plan's not going good. Kick him in the dick. Oh, am I gonna swing on ropes? I'm gonna do it. Giant Spatcher says, hmm, when are you going to do another Such Art stream? Oh, we should, actually. I like Such Art. Unwisebird says, I'm exaggerating, but the maps feel very different. Oh, maybe we should play Such Art again. I really liked... Oh, look, he's swinging in the screenshot. I really liked Such Art, but I never really got into, like, the meta story or whatever of it. I just wanted to... I just want to paint when I play that game. I guess I'm gonna go swing on a rope. Hopefully that mechanic works. Uh, we'll see. Let's go this way though, because it seems like the other way was the correct way to go. And you never want to go the correct way first. This is a video game for crying out loud. Here we go. Be that man. No, oh, it's fine, whatever. I don't care. Here we go. I'm gonna do it. Oh God. <laughs> this might, this might be a problem. <laughs> huh. Okay. Hmm. How are we gonna, 
I don't want to learn... Why do I have to learn how to do the ropes in a place where if I fail to do the ropes correctly, I die? Why... Why is it gotta be like that? Unwise Bridge says this looks awful. <laughs> Uh, I'm not, I'm not enamored with it. Mercy. Okay. Give me the B. I mean, it doesn't really matter how, because I'm gonna heal and then I'm gonna die when I fall in the lava. So it's kind of all the same to me, but yeah, we'll do it. Aha! The jukes! Okay. Oh my god. Just time it. Damn you, King Thorax! You and your goddamn ropes! I wasn't ready for that! I didn't think you were going to get a, 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 a more disliked by me game mechanic than the bat that eats you if you fly too high. Uh, but here we are. We made it. Bugdom continuing to innovate in ways to really piss me off while playing Bugdom. That's okay. It's fine. It's fine. Just skip all that crap. Who cares? I truly hope this is the one, like, normally if there's a game mechanic that only matters in one place, it's pretty stupid and disliked by me, but in this case, I kind of hope that these are the only ropes. Just gotta time it. Just gotta time it, Lamau. It's going great. I did not, I didn't see the gap. <laughs> no! Okay, that's fine. I did not see hashtag that gap. Hate to, hate to see it. <laughs> no, okay. That gat? Hey, Noodles, welcome. We're playing Bugdom. You remember Bugdom. This game obviously needs no introduction. Uh, the current section that we're on is pretty horrible. Progy Friends says, PB! Sorry, I forgot. I forgot this was a Christian stream. This is a Christian stream. You know what Gat means, right? I guess I don't. I thought it was a Gat when you said that, but now I'm not sure. I thought it was a gun. But now I'm concerned that it means something else. He doesn't. Alright, hold up. We're gonna learn what I said. Ugh. Okay. How bad is it? Do I have to change my identity? A large butt! <laughs> okay, that's not so bad. I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it. Okay, fine. It's not, I'm not canceled. It's fine. He didn't, he did see Caked Up Doomsday earlier. And Noodle says, but does she have the gat though? Extrapolate from this sentence. Piotr has the gat. I have the gift of gat. <laughs> As they say. Okay, this is bullshit. You would not see that. Like, that's like the goddamn bridge from Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. It's truly just an optical illusion. I don't know what evil person invented it. Progy Friend says, yeah, the rope code just sets a fixed vector for your exit. No momentum. Oh, okay. This has been the Zoomer Lingo learning session. Oh my god. I'm doing, um, Zoomer Lingo to, to learn Zoomer speak. On, on my phone. Did those guys all explode? Did they all commit ritualistic... What happened? They did. They did. It's fine. Yeah. 
Murder that man. Quick, while I'm invincible. B! <laughs> Noodle says, bruh, no cap. Just hit me up if you lack him, fam. I got you. Thank you. I appreciate the, uh, the offer. To hit me up or to be hit up by me. God damn if I be lacking. <sighs> I can do this. I can do this. I'm not going to rage quit out of this. We have other Pangea games we could play. But I just, I know that we can do this. What happened? I fell in, I jumped in the lava. Because I'm a bad gamer and the controls are also bad. I get, to, I get to blame the controls a little bit. I don't think that's unfair. I love this mechanic because you just have to wait. It's not that long. I'm complaining. That wasn't that bad. Alright, let's murder these fools. Help me think of a good bee pun for when I kill these guys. Too late. We missed it. The rope! Please. Rope, do not throw me in the lava. Alright, here we are. The, we have a checkpoint, although we have no lives. So it sort of doesn't matter. Weird that these guys explode sometimes. Oh, there goes my... Yeah, they do all kill each other. What's the deal with that? Save her! Get out of here. Ignore that man. I heard a bunch of guys explode, so that's good. All right, here we go. Grab the rope. Noodle says I just slept for nine hours. That's a good way to live. Gotta get, gotta get a good sleep now and then. Oh my god. And he dies. And he dies. Look, we can do this. There's only two more levels left in this game. Just because the they are successfully ratcheting up the bullshit with every single level doesn't mean that we can't do this. Been playing The Long Drive recently. What is The Long Drive? I, I feel like I've heard of that before, but I can't picture it. Giant Spatcha says, I'm loving learning about the source code as we play this game. Who knew driving could be so calm? This isn't the one, no. What's the, there's a different one that's like the weird driving roguelike, right? I'm thinking of the wrong game. This is, this is anxiety inducing. It's just a dude driving on a really long road. Yes, it's a roguelite. Oh, okay, maybe I am thinking of the right one. To visit your mother. That's sweet. Do you think maybe one of these is an extra life? Because that would be sublime. Well, some of them exploded. Save her! I have to get those precious points. Currently 550 kilometers in. It's quite an easy game, to be honest. That's not bad. No problem with that. Oh god, here we go. Oh, did it work? They died. Doing a run where I change vehicles after 500 kilometers? What? What is the significance of changing vehicles? The road is 5,000 kilometers long! Oh my god, there's extra mans. Wait, can I just go to the side? No. God damn, there's a lot of these fools. Okay. I like the seam 
in the lava. That looks really good. They really nailed that part. Oh, okay. No says for the challenge, and so I. Oh, okay, so I just don't use one car. No says, oh my god. It's okay, we love this game. I love that you can just kind of miss the rope. Is the rope even real? Can you imagine if it if like there's something else I'm supposed to do there other than do that line of ropes? Oh my god. Okay. Give me that. In a way, we are well on our way to being uh, becoming bugged and speedrunners. Apple plus F6 gives you liquid invincibility? Ooh, I might be down to cheat at this game. Honestly, very tempting. I, the only thing is though, I realized I am using a Windows computer, but I'm sure there's a way. Explode those men. Some of them, anyway. Although, can you imagine trying to do a perfect run of this whole game without getting killed by any of the stupid bullcrap? Nanosaur was hard enough, and that game is 20 minutes long. Go, go, go. Okay, we're on the rope! Now, I know I hate this. What if I go the wrong way? Oh my god. Rope reel? Rope reel? Unfortunately, there are like... Oh my god. Good adventures always go left. So we'll start this way. An extra life? Why do good adventures always go left? That's just a thing. Get that raspberry, get that raspberry. We gotta, we gotta figure out what to do here. I mean, good God. You can rotate around on the rope? Do I want to? Okay, hit the, I'm dead. I just wanna be bugged him. Let's rotate around on the rope. I'm sure that will make the difference here. I'm, I bet that will be the key. So it does look like we need to go left. Noodle says both the Hobbit and Lord of the Rings both go west on the map and north from Hobbiton. Which door do they go through when they're in Moria and Gandalf is deciding what door to go through? I think that's the real decider. Although you're right that in terms of their longer term adventure, they were definitely going to the right on the map. Well, they go east on the map. Well, northeast, so it goes left from Hobbiton. Fuck! Oh, I got you, because I go out from Hobbiton and then I go to the north. Okay, yeah, that is sort of a, a, a left-ish. Ignore them. Just like real life, you have to ignore the haters. This game is a whole allegory. Oh, hell yes! Okay, I was wrong. I do like this. Speen! You gotta speen it to ween it! Alright, don't be tricked by that little bit of bullcrap. There's nothing for you here. Don't even bother. I mean, there's a ladybug, but who cares? Good. Good missile. Flying off and hitting nothing. Love to see it. Peep that fat speen! I'm peeping it. Oh god. Okay, I'm ready. <laughs> Do 
We do have to go somehow deal with a thousand guys all jammed on a skinny little bridge. But I believe. Piotr Misl. Piotr Misl, I got you. <laughs> I see what you're doing now. I'm picking up what you're putting down. Nope, save it. God damn. Do you think there's an extra life over there? That's where I would put one. Please. Well, it's sort of something. I mean, it's not good. But you can't say it's not something. Where'd you go? Okay, fine. Ah, oh, fantastic. Where's the million guys? I'm ready. Okay, we hit the thing. Get out of here. Just leave. So if I was doing kind of my game design 101, I'd make us go left and right in order to go forward at this part of the game. Oh, I didn't think it would make me that mad. <laughs> Noodle says that makes sense. Oh, I didn't think I didn't think I'd be that angry. <laughs> just a just a shot of rage through my veins there. Okay. Did the mad almost pop the lid? Nah, we're good. We're good, we're good, we're good. Oh. An extra life would be good here. I think also if they, we can, let's, let's cheat probably, right? You're internally screaming though? A hundred percent. How will I know if this has worked? Hmm. Well, we did s s start button and F6, but I don't know. I don't know if that actually will have done what we want. But perhaps just thinking that we're invincible to the lava will give us the courage that we need to succeed. I bet that's how it works. An extra life, though, here is really what we need, right? That would be a game changer. Even though, it, it, I mean, just to not have to do that first part every time would be pretty good. It's changed in the remake? Ah, okay. Got it. Brogy Frenzy says, bet it won't. I don't know. Back tick and F6. Ah, okay. I'm not going to cheat yet, but next time we'll cheat. That's pretty much where I am at this point. Backtick plus F5 is full inventory. Interesting. Noodle says, Wizard reveals to the heroes that they weren't invincible all along. Hero has a mental breakdown, thinking all the ways they could have died. Oh my god. Are you for real? Let's try going to the right. That one wasn't as bad. All right, we're cheating. Look, I just want to see the end of this game. Oh, is it going to is it going to taint it for me to cheat? Let's give it one more try and then we'll cheat. But we're just going to blast through here. We're not going to do any dilly-dallying. We're not going to get anything we don't need. Cheat! 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 <laughs> it was the olden days. You were expected to cheat a little bit. It's like those levels in Super Mario Brothers 3. Super Mario Brothers 3, word that I am struggling to say. Uh, that nobody's ever actually played because you just skip them with the warp whistle. You know the ones. You're expected to cheat a little bit. Imagine how cool you could have been in the computer lab if you'd known the cheats. Oh my god, it's true. This is a computer lab game, isn't it? Because it came pre-installed on all the Macs. 
And Wiseman says, or edit your save file to give you a reasonable number of lives. Also not a bad idea. That feels less cheaty. Just so I don't have to do this all in one go here. Get bead. Noodle says, by God, if I die and it's on my permanent record that this dude cheated, it bugged him, I'd be the laughingstock of heaven and hell. Okay, we're cheating. I was wrong to not cheat that time. We should have just done it. I It was just hubris. There was no reason for us to not cheat. How do I know if it worked? <laughs> Back tick, you say? Like a... Yeah, okay. Back tick, F6. Oh, I guess we could do F5. Ah, okay, that totally works. Because look, I have all the items. Okay, okay, okay. So watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to end game. Because F5 does work. But I don't want all the items. I just want, you know. Actually, Proki Frenzy says, if you can't get all your work done, it's your manager's fault. If you can't beat a game without cheating, it's the developer's fault. Very true. On all counts. All right, we are immune to lava, hopefully. Let's test this as quick as we can. Fire is not a liquid. <sighs> Tell me about editing the save file. That's very interesting to me. Let me just peek at it real quick. Bugged them. Because they must just be here, right? Bugged them. Data. Images. Skeletons. Documentation. Cheats.md. Oh my god. There's just a cheats.md? Open a notepad. Uh, always open that in notepad. Okay. Backtick. I, can I just get more lives? Toggle liquid invincibility. Can I see... Wow, there's actually a lot of great cheats here. But no, just give me a life. I can get full health. That's not really what I want. Okay, well, we'll just... We'll just toggle liquid invincibility. That's what we'll do. Progy Frenzy says, uh, I don't think the cheat code worked, PB. It'll work. It'll work. And Noodle says, fire isn't a gas, neither. I guess it's just a chemical reaction, huh? Okay. We have the, the invincibility to liquids. Hopefully. It's just energy. It's more akin to a sun, TBH. A sun, you say? Sounds pretty cool. Okay, give me the full, the spinning liquid that I squeeze out of those mushrooms. Uh, I feel bad cheating, but there's just no way. It's just not worth it. I feel bad cheating, but I would feel much worse if we, uh... Didn't work. It doesn't work. Tell me about these save files. Um, let me just... Let me just... Let me just look real quick. I'm gonna take, like, two seconds. Command line, you say. Uh, ha, 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 ha. I don't really want that. It's not cheating if all parties are consenting adults. True. 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 Data. Where would it go? Like my fucking documents? I don't know where stuff goes on PC. On Windows. My games? Saved games? Hades. No. But interesting. Noted that that's there. My games. Hmm. We might just have to do it. 
NSTW. About to give up. This game is 25 years old. It can rent cars. Noodle says falter, knowing your last array of hope is withered. We just got to get through this level once. I, I reckon we're close to the end of it. This PC, Windows. Per mm. All right, here we go. What can we do? What can we do to make this not be such incredible bullshit? Maybe I did the cheat wrong. Maybe I'm toggling it on and off and I accidentally toggled it back off again. Or maybe we just got to do it. Maybe liquid invincibility doesn't mean what I think it does. There's all kinds of options here. But it seems like it would make you invincible to liquids. It's got to be said. There's not, like, a life here, is there? I think we might need to check all the chestnuts. Just to be sure. There's invincibility that I don't need. Whoa, 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 whoa! What's back here? Oh my god, there's a secret way. Wait, what is this? Where the hell is this? Oh no. Do I have to come back here? After turning the faucet? Noodle says it's older than me and if it's female we can have a little brother big sister thing going? I guess? I guess that's probably true. I wish you the best. Both of you. Honestly. Well... Wait, what the- what? Is this just like an alternate path? Maybe I'm supposed to flood the lava? No, I'm sure that's not it, but... Hello. Hey, Zug. You didn't pick up the life? Where was the life? No, it was- it was invincibility. It wasn't a life. I think it was invincibility. But I did see it. Let's- we'll, we'll get it this time. Now that we know there's like a weird secret way to go. I- I think so. If it is a life though, I'll- uh, it'll be egg on my face for sure. We got a half an hour. We could do this. We could do this. How the hell did somebody beat this game in seven minutes? I cannot conceive of this. What was the other thing here? Oh, the spin? I don't need it. Noted for future attempt. This I do need. I can't believe there's just like a whole secret way. That's so weird. Who would do that? Everything's gonna blow up. I think. Oh, it is invincibility. Still though, that's useful when we're going into a fire. Okay, be careful. Now that we know the fire is a one hit kill, careful, jeez. It can't just be for a bee. Is it just a ladybug to save? Oh my god. Okay, there's no- we don't need to come here. Ever again. Kinda worked. I wonder if there's anything good in those nuts. Hashtag those nuts. Okay, here we go. Well, that was a waste of time. Here we go. Yeah. 
Mofrer. Is there another secret way over here? What the hell? Okay. There's so much health. Just around. Oh, you know what? We should have come here and checked these nuts first. What is this place? I don't need more. There was no enemies on the way. Why are you giving me more health? <gasps> da -na -na -na. We really needed that. Okay, we got a life. This is huge. This is perhaps game changing. A man! That is sorely needed. Oh good, he just respawns immediately. Fantastic. What is he, a ghost? Why is he clear and invincible? How come the enemies... ...get iframes? I'm so mad. I mean, if we if we die before we get to the checkpoint, we may as well just start over. Um, maybe, maybe I'm wrong about that, but I think so. Because it's going to be the same, but there's just not going to be a life for us to pick up. Ghost? Why was he a ghost? I wasn't the only one who saw that, right? He was clear. Look, but now we know. Now we know where the extra life is. This is gonna this is gonna crack this whole thing wide open. I need the B. He was definitely a ghost. I hate that for me. How come he's got to be a ghost? This is for you. Save it. Save the bee. Use the bee! Use the bee! It didn't work! The bee, it does nothing! Noodle says, bugged him. And as a fish clings to water, a bird to the skies, you, Piotr Bizzel, are mine. I can't, I can't es escape it, I admit. Anything cool down here? Just clovers? Just, we just need to confirm. Oh my gosh, okay. Flood this place quick. I wonder what the 100% speed run for this game is like. There must be nobody who has it. No person in their right mind would, would bother. I'm not even sure if playing it to 100% not for a speed run is a good idea. Okay, we got a B. We got a life. Oh, let's see what we can do. Just want to try to get to that checkpoint. I mean, ideally further, but you know. Have you seen the animation How Willy Wonka Creates the Oompa Loompas? I have not. Are people still making animations online? God damn it! Why didn't he fucking jump? Oh my god, the ropes! It's quite a disturbing animation about colonialism. Ah. On Wiser it says, Smash cut to Piotr seven months from now, running the Bugdom 100% speed run each stream. Just as a warm-up. At the beginning of the stream, we'll just do a quick one. We could do a run of Nanosaur every day. We shouldn't. We shouldn't. I've watched the the fast speed runs for that game, and those people actually know what they're doing. We will not. We will not beat them. So there is a cheat to just skip this level. Just putting it out there, um, because I, I don't. I don't really feel like we're gonna see anything else in this level. I gotta be honest. I'm pretty sure we're gonna go to the left. We're going to go to the right and they'll give us a key. The left will turn off a fire and then we'll go forward and the game the level will be over. Is there a Nanosaur speedrunning community? 2 years ago somebody did a bunch of Nanosaur speedruns and like made copious notes in the speed in speedrun.com or speedrunner.com or whatever. Um It seemed like they were like I don't think you could do it much faster than this. Maybe if you were really lucky, you could do it a little... If you did everything perfectly and were lucky, maybe you could do it a little bit faster than this. So, 
by their own admission, there is room for improvement, but god damn, I love this game. I love when I'm just getting absolutely just, just surrounded by dudes nonstop. Anyway, it could be done, but we'd have to be like, you know, we, we would need divine skills and divine providence in order to pull it off. Why am I doing this, even though it makes me mad? Okay. Get the life. Noodle says, I mean, the TAS and human Mario speedruns are only a few seconds apart. So close to perfection. Well, that's the... that's So we have the third place speedrun for Nanosaur on easy mode because nobody really cares. Like, it's not that close to perfection. If you watch the, the entry video that we put up, it looks like a dude playing Nanosaur. It does not look like a dude speedrunning Nanosaur by any means. Uh, and indeed, that's basically what it is. Please. Holy shit, it's coming together. Kill that man. Why? Oh my god, so irritating. <laughs> Give me a B. Okay, some dudes exploded. Noodle says, so I have to dye my hair to be recognized as a speedrunner. Oh, is that a thing? I could do it. I could get some, some frosted tips or something. I don't know what speedrunner hair looks like. I just assume it's frosted tips. Seems right to me. Or look like I didn't grow out of my high school nerd drip. Can I can I just go around the edges like these bugs do? Because that would be huge. If I could ignore the ropes, that would potentially be a game changer here. Giant Spatula says, does Express Cuts do frosted tips? Express Cuts is a barber shop that I prefer. But Giant Spatula, it's spelled with an X, uh, not an E at the beginning because it's also cool it's extreme and fast and convenient and inexpensive that's actually the main one god i gotta get a haircut okay here we go we know there's nothing useful to the side b i need a b i can't take all these dorks how come there's so many more this time there was like a million one time and then oh i'm gonna die here I, I'm not emotionally prepared for this. Express cuts. The E in our name means expensive. Ah, because it's not there. Okay, one more attempt and then we're skipping this level. Giant Spot just says, oh, excuse me. You know what? We're just going to skip this level because we want to see the end, right? And it might take us 20 minutes to beat the last level. Let's look at the cheats. Sorry, but this there's nothing to be gained here. <laughs> I, I truly feel that... Um, it's just all, it, it, we're not going to feel good about beating this level. $500 slogan right there. In the mail, please. Lugdom, documentation, cheats. Back tick plus F1. Hey, we're the winner. Let's see the last level. Feels good. Grats, thank you. I actually feel last level. Here it is. I actually do feel genuinely bad about that, but but it was such bullshit. I mean, ugh, I shouldn't. It's him. How do I harm him? Oh, I just kick him in the face. No, this can't be it. We gotta get out of here. Giant Spatcher says, I bet you could submit a speedrun plus cheats. It's like two minutes. Progi Frenzy says, so frugal they're buying their sign on an installment plan. Ugh. When they first opened, they were just called. S Good joke. 
Anyway, let's kill the Ant King. Maybe we've got to get his ants to hit him. Guess we've got to wait for his staff to run out. Then maybe he's vulnerable. Did his staff run out before? Did I dream that? How did we kick him before? How did that ever work? Okay, away I go. Ooh, do I hate this now? Ooh, it's happening. I'm swinging back the other way on this game. Okay, we can do this. We can do this. Just gotta focus. Look, there's a free thing over here. Invincibility, you say? Go smack him right in the face. How did we... I just don't understand how we got him before. Back to get one! True! Quick, while I'm immune. Maybe we, maybe if we get his own guys to hit him? Or is it like water spills out of this and puts his little crown out maybe? <gasps> That's what it is! Oh, it's like a puzzle! Kick him in the dick! Oh my god, it's like a game mechanic. Come over here, bub. That's for you. Oh my god, we're doing it. Hey! Kick him in the dick! God, I love that little stupid kick. Let's look and see if we can find a raspberry. Bug dumb dick! <laughs> that was the original title of the game. Or original subtitle. Who hit me? He's like a mile away! Okay, we can do this. Now we know how to do this. We can do this. Easy peasy. Do you think... Okay. Do you think the boss has a final form? Based on the fact that this is the first Pangea Software game that we've played that had a boss, my leaning is probably not. Can we get him with this again? Oh, we can hit him with the same one multiple times? Shit. Easy. It is kind of just all dick kicking, isn't it? A bit weird. Raspberry? Okay, quick, get back in there. I guess. Get him! Get another hit! And away we go. Do you think this will work on these guys? I gotta go. I gotta get out of here. Oh, should we just try to finish him? I can just get close. That's it! Oh, we died with him! Look at my t my 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 undercarriage! Uh, it's fine! We did it! It doesn't matter! It doesn't matter! It's fine! Now I'm the king! Ugh! Oh, Rocky <laughs> says. Oh, thank you, ladybugs. Does it count? Um oh, What an appropriate way to finish! Grats, thank you. <laughs> what a way. Oh, it's like a reverse of the uh, the game over screen. <sighs> I'm glad we cheated on that level. That would have been stupid and, and dumb.
Enjoy your ladybug harem. Thank you. Oh, that's it. That's it. That's the game. Uh, let's wrap it up a little early tonight. Uh, I don't think we need to see... And we're free now? Well, well, uh, yeah, this has been Bugdom. My god. Do we want to... No, there's no time to start another game. Let's just, let's just wrap it up a little early. Um, we'll be back. This has been Bugdom. I promise not to play any more Pangea games, at least for a little while. Uh, we'll be back on Thursday. We'll be starting Wanted Dead, which will be fully installed, uh half an hour before the stream instead of 10 minutes before the stream this time just to make sure that uh that it actually happens uh if you watched any of the stream quick nanosaur run i do kind of want to try it all right all right all right quick nanosaur run well i just want to see what the extreme mode is um or the hard mode is like and we'll die and then we'll we'll say well that sucked and then we'll be done ah <sighs> quick nanosaur run i didn't need much convincing All right, we're playing Nanosaur. Why am I doing this? Okay. Game difficulty, extreme. We're doing it. We don't know what this means. Will the map be different? Oh, there's just way more dudes. Get that mouse cursor off the screen. That's not right. Oh, the map is sort of different. Oh my God, I forgot how bad the controls were. I don't know, is this extremer? We can do this. If this is the only difference, is that they dropped a thousand more T-Rexes. I mean, we'll try, we'll try. Froggy friend says, I gotta go. Good night, P but good night, PB. Grats on beating Bugdom. I hope you enjoy the decisions you've made. Always. Okay, so extreme is just there's way more dinosaurs, huh? But the map and everything seems to be the same. Maybe the power-ups are different, because there's like a little force field that I don't think was here before. Yeah, and a nuke. Wow. Remember, the nuke also hurts us, so we should shoot this off quick. that get that egg get that egg please extreme mode might not be my preferred mode okay look get the triple thing actually get the health that's more important go 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 Yeah, this is going to be a nightmare. This is not going to be fun at all. Okay, but we can do this. Get the invincible bubble. Murder these men. Do we have a nuke? No. That's okay, lots of great ammo here. Please. Drop it off. I like the triple the triple bullets though. And there are weirdly a lot of like force fields around.
Okay, we have already spent almost four minutes of the time. So that could turn out to be a problem. It's fine. Give me the homing guns. We have health. Oh my god, they're already here? Oh my god, look how many there are! That's ridiculous! We just gotta go. Oh, there's more jetpack juice. Guy, can we get some more fucking pterodactyls, please? I'm I'm not sure there's enough here for me, for my preference. I was hoping there could be like maybe 50. This mere three dozen is not enough. Oh, we have full jet fuel. Okay, here we go. And why is this? Wow, this does not seem playable. Homing missiles for you. We gotta get this egg. It's weird because it like kind of is weirdly balanced with all the uh, ammo that's around. How high is too high? Here we go. God, that was satisfying. <laughs> you got your 999 ammo. Oh my god, I do. Wait, that's great. No time to dilly-dally. Wait, it's here. I'm at the place. Oh, there's these guys here? Please. We need that health. And then we got a GTFO. Maybe get the... The shield? Nope, we're out. I'm out. I'm out of juice. Ah, oh, I kind of love this game. I sure do hate it, but uh, at the same time, there's something about it. Get out of there. Now, if I recall correctly, I don't need this egg, right? Because I already got that one, yeah. I also guess I don't... Enough time for this. Fill up, fill up, fill up, fill up, fill up, fill up, fill up. We just gotta go. Oh, the stupid little rocks. Okay, I get it. I get what happened. Am I out of jet fuel now? That is a problem for me at this point in the game. To have no jet fuel is gonna be an issue. Maybe it's fine. No, it's not fine.
The most important thing here is we have to remember to pick up the egg. We got it. Not like this! Don't get the nuke. It's just... It's just there to tempt you. Do I get the egg? Will it turn in? Shit! Oh no, I still have it. Okay, that's fine. I can work with that. If I, if I just have the egg still, that's okay. I thought I was gonna have to go find another purple egg somewhere. Delete that man. Give me the shotgun. I don't really have time for this. Or ammo, I guess is the bigger- Oh my god, look at all these boys here! This is preposterous! Please pick it up. Please pick it up. Please pick it up, you piggy bastard! Pick it up! Please get it. Please get it. Please get it. I'm literally on it. Oh my god. And there I go. That's why I don't like Nanosaur. Oh, man! We were so close! So extreme mode is, yeah, that is borderline unplayable. I'm sure it can be done, but man, oh man, oh man. That is, uh, less enjoyable. <laughs> and the base game, less enjoyed. Enjoyed. Great. Um, chicken dinner! Giant Spot just says we need to read the code to figure out why it's so bad at recognizing the eggs. Oh, we'll put in a, a bug fix for the egg hit detection. My god. The hit detection to pick up the eggs, the hit detection to turn in the eggs, it's all a problem. Okay, now we're really done with the stream for tonight. We'll be back on Thursday with Wanted Dead, I promise. Uh, man oh man oh man. What a bunch of games. What a game company. I wonder what their story is. We will never know. If you watched any of the stream live tonight, thank you so much for watching live. Giant Spatchel says, thank you for Pangea Fest. And uh, if you watch this as a recording or on YouTube, thank you so much for watching that way too. And until next time, I will see you later. Wait, first we have to hear the music. There it is. Great. Bye. <laughs>